Hanley and I need to go for a walk. I don't think he likes it here very much. At least not when we're inside. He's hardly eaten any of his food. And only just today is he hanging out in the blankets we left out for him. However, what he does like is going for walks. And now that we're back from the dunes, we've had a chance to, ha to rest and uh, have our lunch. He and I are going to go for a walk down to the bridge. And uh, he usually likes that quite a bit because there's lots to see and smell. So come on, Hanley, let's go. More than anything else right now, this video is for my mom, who hasn't been here for I think almost as long as I haven't been here. So I think it's been about seven years for her. Come on, Hanley, this way. There's just so much great stuff to see. It really makes me wish I had a I don't know if you can see that, there's a beautiful butterfly right there. Um, I wish I had a much better camera. This thing does okay, but... High, real high definition would be wonderful. Hanley doesn't care, though. This is the back of our property, there's the boathouse. Over here is the swamp. Get a better look at that in just a moment. Come on, Hanley. Hanley tends to hang back when he and I go for walks together because he's worried about the others. He's much more enthusiastic when the kids come. We'll see if he comes with me or not. We actually just made this walk a few minutes ago and I realized I forgot the camera. Come on, Hanley. Come on, boy. Rebecca and I found this beautiful flower yesterday. Some sort of a lily. It's growing wild out here. Keep going. It's kind of nice to go for a walk like this without the kids though, because they make so much noise that they scare away a lot of the wildlife, wildlife. Usually, out here on the swamp, there are a bunch of turtles sunning themselves on the sticks in the water. Don't see a lot of that right now. However, I don't know if you can see them, but out across the swamp, there are a lot of a lot of the lily pads have bloomed. So you see some. You might be able to see some yellow flowers. I'll take a couple of still frames as well. And then all those white ones though that have come up just came up overnight. They weren't here yesterday. So I'm going to turn off the video for a second take a couple of still frames. I hope that showed you a little bit what's going on here. Just absolutely beautiful. So the swamp is on this side. The east side. And Rebecca has really been wanting to pick some of those sweet pea flowers to put into a bouquet for her mom. And unfortunately, those sweet peas don't last very long in water, and they, they die pretty quick. So out over here is the lake, of course. And on the other side are the dunes, and that's where we canoed to earlier today. I'll tell you, the canoe ride back was a lot tougher, because the wind had picked up, and Jacob was more exhausted. Well, I was more exhausted. So it took about twice as long to come back as it took to get there. And even though the land here has changed a lot over the years, for example, you used to be able to walk out 
on this out to the water, but the it's all pretty marshy here now. The lake has really eroded the land, and they put up some stones over here to keep it from uh, cutting off the road. The water's taken over quite a bit, and a lot of the trees, of course, have died, and new ones have come up. Can't believe I've been coming here for. Gosh, almost 40 years. My mom grew up coming here too. Her dad bought the property here when she was small. I don't remember how old she was. She's told me, but I don't remember. Not as many people out on the lake on a Monday as there were over this past weekend. But we're expecting that this coming weekend, being the 4th of July weekend, it's probably going to be super crowded. Another pretty lily in here. You see that? Come on, Handley. Come on, buddy. Really pretty yellow flowers over here, too. I'll focus. When I was a kid, my favorite place to come fishing was right here at the bridge. It's been rebuilt over the years. It's probably the same concrete slab. This is my favorite though. Cross at your own risk. No heavy loads. We've never had trouble with it, but the FedEx trucks certainly don't come this way. I used to love to just sit here on the rail and fish out into the swamp side. A lot of good sunfish and perch in here. Makes for good eating. And sometimes you can see fish in the water here. You don't see anything right now. My dad and I have seen a couple of big carp in here a few times. I don't know what kind of fishing there is nowadays, though. What do you think, Handley? On our family walks, we'll usually keep going, but I don't have any bug spray on. The bugs have been really bad in the woods with all the rainfall we've had. We'll take you on one of those walks in the next day or so. So I'm gonna sign out. So, Mom, if you watched this, hope you enjoyed it, because I know you missed this place as much as I did, probably more.